back again for another test flight. Um, the differences between this flight and the previous one um, is that uh, I've actually uh, put uh, some um, up um, elevation, some reflex in on this uh, on this wing, and uh, the hope is that uh, this will assist in forward flight um, as well as the uh, the hover. Okay, we've got satellite lock of 15. That looks good. Okay, let's try an arm. Throttle armed. We are armed. Now we do have the wind coming towards us a little bit, so we have to be careful it doesn't go behind us, usual story. Alright, so here we go. Let's see what this looks like. <laughs> it was a tail landing. Uh, I didn't have enough authority to go forward. Um, so, <laughs> that's the first tail landing. <laughs> Not very elegant. Uh, okay, uh, we're going to call it a day there actually. <laughs> it's a short one. Uh, I just, uh, I didn't have the authority in, in hover. Um, okay, well back to the drone board I guess. Thanks for joining me. See you later guys. I just wanted to take a moment to share some output from the logs um, of that flight we've just watched and uh, and to try and uh, show you where I am with uh, with changes that I'm proposing for the next flight. So just to explain what we're seeing here on, on this chart here. So this um, green line here is uh, the altitude of the flight and you'll see from the footage that we didn't actually get that high. Um, then what we've got is, uh, I just want to explain this turquoise colour here, which goes up to the top here and peaks up. This is indicating, um, this is a central stick, and then when I'm pushing forward, this is this is what the uh, the RC um, input is doing. So you can see I've got full stick maximum forward to try and um, um, fight against the wind, um, although it is continue it does continue to get blown back. Um, but anyway, uh, so that, that's what that line is, just to show um, what, what's happening there, give some indication of what I'm doing with the stick. Uh, the other two lines are the most interesting ones. So we've got the attitude pitch, um, uh, which is this one here. Um, and then, um, which is obviously um, representing the aircraft uh, leaning over into the wind. And... Um, and the other interesting one is the attitude des pitch, um, desired pitch, I believe. And you'll see that uh, this early on in the flight pretty much matches. But then when it gets to this point, um, you'll see that uh, the um, designated, uh, the actual pitch and the designated pitch um, escape one another. Uh, but what's interesting is um, the uh, desired pitch here. Um, maxes out, and you'll see from the pop-up there, it says um, it maxes out at minus 29.9, so it's basically maxing out at minus 30 all the way through, so it's bottoming out, so there's a limit there. And what I found is that um, in the configuration of the aircraft, there is uh, a parameter called Q angle max, and that um, was actually set to 30 degrees. So the aircraft wasn't in a VTOL mode, wasn't going to lean anywhere more than 30 degrees, which is going to clearly prove a problem in, in some strong wind. So for the next flight, I'm proposing to increase that. Um, so I'm um, really looking forward to trying that again. Uh, so I have increased that to the recommended maximum, which is 80 degrees. So in very strong wind, we should be able to uh, still maneuver the aircraft around. 
Okay, I just wanted to share that and show where I was going with uh, the next uh, flight and what parameters are going to be changing. Okay, see you there. Thank you.